Before you cast a protest vote, uh, because either Clinton or Trump will become president, think hard about it. Debate after debate, television program after television program, the progressive third party people would in fact get the best response from the audiences. And people would say, you know, you guys make a lot of sense. And then you go up to them and say, you gonna vote for us? And they say, oh, of course we're not gonna vote for you. You can't win. You're gonna vote for the Democrat. You're a much better candidate. Everything you're saying is true, but we can't waste our vote. Waste our vote was the expression. So if there's any term that drives me crazy is this quote unquote, waste our vote. This is not a governor's race. It's not a state legislative race. This is the presidency of the United States. And I would say to those people out there who are thinking of the protest vote, think about what the country looks like and whether you're comfortable of four years of a Trump presidency. What we need in this country is what Jackson calls a rainbow coalition. But it has to be done outside of the Democratic Party. Let us elect Hillary Clinton as president. And the day after, let us mobilize millions of people around the progressive agenda, which, by the way, was passed, as you know, in the Democratic platform. We work very hard on that. The most progressive platform in the history of American politics and say to Secretary Clinton, let us work together to implement that platform. That's where we got to go. But my own feeling is the arguments of working within the Democratic Party and without go as follows. The argument for working within the Democratic Party is that people say, well, that's where the working class is. That's where the unions are. Let's stay within that. People are familiar with it. That's been their home for many, many years. There's truth to that, some truth to that. The argument against working within the Democratic Party is that for millions of Americans, both parties are looked upon with um, derision, with disrespect. Uh, polls show that half the American people don't even know the difference between the Democratic and Republican Party. And I can tell you very honestly, this is just the, as a practical politician, which is what I am, when I campaigned in Vermont, and I don't think Vermont is terribly different in this respect than any other state in the Union, you know, we went all over the state and we shook probably 30, 40,000 hands. I don't think that more than a dozen times people came up to me and said, Bernie, I can't vote for you because I'm a really strong Democrat and I believe in the Democratic Party, or I'm a strong Republican and I believe in the Republican Party. They don't. I think what ends up happening is people don't see much of a choice. There's the option, you know, you've got the Democrats, Republicans, sometimes this one's a little bit worse, sometimes this one's a little bit better. But I think that by standing up and, and telling the truth, that both parties are controlled by big money, which is clearly the case, that neither party, and I don't want to, and I should tell you, by the way, that within the Congress and, and the Democrats, you have a lot of good people, and I'm not here to put them down, some, and you know their names, good people who year after year have fought the good fight. But I think that nationally, the party has, on issue after issue, sold out so many times that if you go before the people and say, hey, I'm a Democrat, you don't usually generate a lot of enthusiasm.